お願い許して転ばせてしまってすみませんけが誰にも言わないでなっうっハローアンウォーカム、トゥデイズ・バレンタインズ・デイ、アンダー・ジュスト・ミンズ・サラ、アドノー、アシンク・モー・ピポー・ガン・ビー・ジョン・イン・トゥ・ポーン・ダン・ユーズ・ウォー、ソダッツ・カン・オー・アソム、バラ、マネーム・スクラウン、アントゥデイズ・ゲーム・イズ・エロフォン、ウィッチ、ユノウォー、トゥン・ダー・トゥ・ビー・プリティ・ファキング・シック、アクチュリー、アンウォン・アシー・シック、アドノー・ミン・ライク、ダ・ゲーム・プレイ・ウォー・アクチュリー・コー、I mean that the adult content was pretty awesome. So,、uh, let's, let's, let's not get to that immediately and talk about the game. So, you can see in the background, I have it up. Essentially, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to compare the phone screen to the actual girl sitting there and、uh, just see the differences and then, you know, click on them and point them out. And slowly, they will become one to one and. What you're doing is you're just revealing them for being stinky little monster girls that they are. But、uh, I don't mean that. I don't actually mean that because、uh, monster girls are. They're better. They're better than regular girls. I'm just saying, and it's true. And so after you reveal their final form, you take your own final form. And not only. In some cases, you literally bust into their fucking homes, which is, you know, pretty illegal. But then you do something even more illegal. And, uh,. Yeah, that's kind of it, honestly. That's the gameplay.、Uh, there are a little additional things, I guess, that are technically considered gameplay, but they're in the adult saucy bits, so we're gonna go right on over to the adult saucy bits after I tell you that there is actually dialogue and it is all voiced. Granted, I didn't read it because I didn't give a shit, or at least some of it. The girl's dialogue is voiced. Your own obviously isn't because it's your own. So、uh, let, now we can start transitioning into the saucy bits because, first of all, I actually have to quickly mention that the girls themselves, because there are a couple of them. I don't remember exactly how many there are, but they are all very unique from each other, which I do like that. I, I love uniqueness in these types of games because、uh, it just means that there's more. For everyone, or at least something for everyone. And、uh, they're also really fucking good. Like, I actually really like how the girls look. You know, you got, you got a lot, you got your typical Twitch streamer, you got a fake ass rat girl, you know, you got a big titty senpai, and then you've also got a fucking robot girl who clearly doesn't like you. And then, you know, you got a fox girl that actually really looks like Fubuki. Actually, no, maybe. I, I don't know, a little bit. Actually, and then、uh, you know, a ghost girl with massive titties, a MILF with massive titties. I, I do actually like them, they're really good. I don't know if I, I've said it multiple times, I'm not the biggest fan of massive titties, but you can make them work, and this game makes them work. I like them. And then lastly, you have the pure girl, which you know just means that the degeneracy on that scene goes like up the fucking wazoo, and uh. They look really good. The Life 2D for even just the normal parts where you're not, you know, fucking around is really good. Probably the most questionable looking one is actually the streamer girl. But then afterwards, I think it's all pretty fucking good. Even when it does look a little strange, I think that the design of the girls generally, you know, makes you go, it's like, no, no, I like this. So now we can actually talk about the saucy bits. And holy shit, it's really good. It's really good, actually. Uh, Not all of them have multiple parts to the actual saucy bits. Some of them are just, you know, you're just doing one thing the entire time. However, you know, you have the typical, you know, you got to butter them up a little bit and then you go like full on in. And some of them are kind of crazy, like with the fucking rat girl. You just like straight up go into like some fucking BDSM in the middle of a fucking bridge.、Uh, the rest of them don't go that hard, but doesn't mean that they're not better. Some of them are very much better. Like, oh my god. The Ghost Girls is really good. The MILFs is really good. The Pure Girls is really good. Jesus Christ. It's all really good. It is like. It's good. I like this shit. This was a good one. This is the good kind of shit I hope to see in the future. Granted, at the same time, I should also, you know, pick up some games with actual gameplay that incorporate the H content well. And I guess I should also talk about this a little bit. There are. There, you know, there is. Interactivity. It is interactive when you're actually, you know, in these scenes. You know, you gotta sometimes move the dong in and out. 
or you literally move the girls up and down, which is really awesome. And there is a free mode that you can use. Granted, you have to unlock it, but the free mode has, you know, the typical stuff of free modes where you can move freely through the scene. You can have them do specific things and it just lets you essentially relive the experience if you want to go back and, uh, you know, crank one out. Surprisingly, I actually never do that with these games. You might think I actually do, but I almost never revisit a game ever. I finish the game, make a video, and if I didn't if I didn't crank one out after I finished playing it by just going to the free mode, I never did. With this one, I'm not going to go into specifics. However, that's all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.